This experiment is about centers of mass, or since the gravitational field at the surface of the Earth is pretty well constant, it's also about centers of gravity, their equivalent. And we've got four objects here, and we can look at the centers of mass or centers of gravity of each one. The first one is a uniform metal rod, and if we balance it, we have my fingers equidistant from the two ends and therefore equidistant from the middle. As we pull our fingers, they both move towards the centre, the geometric centre of the rod, which is also the position of the centre of mass and centre of gravity of that rod. And we can prove that by just trying to balance it on that point. There we have it. Now, what if we start with my left hand first finger right near the end and my right hand one there? Well, let's watch what happens now. This one is moving the left one inwards quite quickly, but that one won't start to move the right hand one until we're almost at the center and it then moves in. Now, why is this? Well, the moments about the center of mass of the whole bar must be equal on either side. So this finger, the right hand finger, because it's a shorter distance from the total center of gravity of the object, it must have a larger force on it than my left hand finger, which is further away. And therefore, because the force on it is greater, the frictional force also is greater. And therefore, it will be more difficult to move. And only when they balance will they actually both start to move together and they end up at the centre. Let's just prove that, that it really is the centre of mass of the bar. There we go. All these balancing experiments are notoriously difficult. Now, let's take this object. Well, clearly the centre of mass can't be in the middle of this. It's much closer to the end with the golf ball on it, so that the moment here and the moment of all the rest of it must be balanced but because it's a much greater mass, the center of mass of the whole thing is going to be very close to this end, and it's about there. Next, this thing, the walking stick. Well, we'll do the moving fingers again. Watch what happens now. They are moving, they are now, and they'll be moving together, and they'll balance at the center of mass. So they meet at the center of mass, and if I just prove that by putting my finger underneath it, this one is really quite difficult to balance. You can see it's not going to do it. It is now. There we go. One of the reasons this is not so easy to balance is because there's a bit of it above the balance point, and that makes it slightly more unstable. And finally, my cello bow. Now, I know the mass of this, the whole cello bow, has a mass of about 83 grams, and I know the balance point's about there. The moments on either side of the balance point must be equal and therefore the centre of mass of each part of the bow, that side must be further out than the centre of mass of this side to keep the two moments the same. And that's really important when you come to use the bow because the balance matters when you're playing.